All right, we're on to chapter 13, which is gases and the ideal gas law. We're talking about pages 223 through 230 exercises 13A and B, the ideal gas law. Remember, the ideal gas law, it's pretty easy to remember, Pivnert, PV equals NRT. And since R, which is given, is that value with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sig figs, but these units of liters, atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin, you have to remember to use liters, atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin when using the ideal gas law. They have to go together. Okay. Also remember that one atmosphere is the same as 760 torr, 760 millimeters of mercury. Those are just pressure values, infinite number sig figs and conversion between Kelvin and Celsius is this back from chapter 2. Okay, so those are the two problems that we're going to do on these first two sections. So you want to hit pause, go through the business of calculating those in full and complete method and then come back and see if you did it the same way I did and whether you got the right answer. Okay, so hit pause. All right, hopefully you actually hit pause, you actually did the problems, rather than passively hoping that the information that I speak at you in my hands magically show you on the paper will sink into your head, because they won't. Your job is to try to work through these problems, do it on your own, and if you run into trouble, then check with the video. Okay, so, what volume will the gas occupy if 3.25 moles of it at 3.25 K has a pressure of 2.2 atmospheres. All right. That's 325 K. I think I said 3.25. All right. Well, it's an ideal gas law problem. We're solving for volume. So do the algebra first. So volume is equal to N R T over P. N is 3.25 moles. R, 0 0.08257 liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin. Temperature is 325 K. And the pressure 2.2 atmospheres. Let's first make sure that my units cancel out completely. Moles on top, moles on bottom. Atmospheres in the numerator, whoop, not atom. Atmospheres in the bottom, that cancels. K on top, K on bottom cancels. The only thing that's left is liters. That's what we want. How many sig figs will be in my answer? Well, there's three here. I used four there. There's three here. And there's two here. So the answer will have two, the least number. It's just a multiplication. And when you punch all that into your calculator, you get 39 liters. Done. Not too bad. Okay, so let's try the next one. What is the mass in grams of the carbon dioxide gas that's contained inside a 725 milliliter balloon at 925 torr and negative 8 degrees Celsius? Hmm. I know I've got gases going on, or actually a gas. So I have to deal with that. But I don't see anything with mass in here. Pressure, volume, moles gas law constant temperature so we need mass what's the closest thing I have here to mass it's moles right because you can get from moles to mass very easily using the periodic table so let's solve for n especially because they give us the pressure and the temperature and the volume we know what R is so given everything else it's easy enough to find n first step do the algebra. 
do it. How long can it take? And it keeps you from making a silly mistake. So N is equal to PV over RT. Notice that if I would just put in everything, 925, and I'll just leave a space here. I'll leave a big space here. 25 and the volume is 725 and R is 0 0.0820 sorry about that 0 0.0820575 five, six fix up here that's still the right answer Yeah, let's leave them off. For now, I'm trying to make a point. I've seen this too many times. The temperature of negative 8. Right? You don't even need to write this down. It's real easy. You just punch it in your calculator. Except if you did it like this, you'd get a negative number of moles. How could there be a negative number of moles in a balloon? It's impossible. You've made a mistake. What's the mistake you've made? You haven't gone through and done your units. If we show the units that we have right now, tor, milliliters, liter, atmospheres, per mole, per kelvin, and degree C, can you see that absolutely nothing cancels out here? Our answer isn't moles. Our answer is like every unit that there is known to man. So we've done something wrong. We've not used the ideal gas law units in using the ideal gas law equation. So we have to convert. It's not hard. One atmosphere for every 760 torr. One liter for every 1,000 milliliters and adding 273 to get 265K, which is what we use down here. When all my units cancel, I guarantee you that we end up with 1 divided by 1 divided by moles, which is units of moles. Okay? Now, you can figure this out individually and then plug them in, or you can do it like this with a bunch of parentheses. It doesn't matter. The key is you need to end up with N equal to 0 0.004059 moles. And of course, that's not good enough. And by the way, the answer will have three sig figs here, three sig figs here, one, two, three, four, five here. And how many sig figs on the temperature here? It's three, because we didn't use negative eight. We used 265. It's your calculation and the values that you use in that that tells you how many sig figs are supposed to be in your answer. Okay, so we don't want the mass well, we want the mass in grams. We're at moles. That's just periodic table stuff, right? 44.01 grams of CO2 for every one mole of CO2. Whenever you calculate that out, 1.79 grams. Okay, so the key here Make sure you use the right units. Do your quick algebra step to get what you need. Be thinking about sig figs as you go. Hack at it. 13A, 13B. That's where you need to work. Good luck.